Hey, Tony, KD8RTT. I'm going to do a video uh, showing off the DSP features of the Yaesu FT450D here. Um, it's got some really cool things it can do that can make uh, picking out a signal uh, much easier. Um, and I'm just going to go through what, what the features do and, you know, kind of how to apply them a little bit. Um, I'm going to just kind of move through the bands to find signals to test it against. Um, and uh, we'll go through them all. There's the contour, notch, DNR, width and shift, um, and they're all really ways to um, reject interference, um, and they make things a whole lot easier. So as you can see, I don't have the uh, microphone connected, because I'm not going to use that. Um, and uh, right now I'm on 20 meters, I might jump around to 40, depending on what I need to find as we go. Um, but yeah, that's the, the basic stuff. So we'll go ahead and start with the uh, contour um, feature, uh, which the contour feature basically um, will notch out or peak up a little part of the IF filter passband. Um, so these features in the IF stage uh, work a lot better than the audio stage, and that's one of the, the nice things about the DSP and these things that, that makes it a lot more useful. So um, this can help, you know, suppress or enhance a little a little part um, of the passband, um, and it's different. You can shift it around to figure out where in the passband, and of course how much you peak or how much you null it, um, and that can make things sound easier. Um, as you'll see with like all of these DSP features, a lot of it's just trying it out. You know, you got a signal, um, try the try the different DSP features on them and, and see how it sounds and we'll kind of get a good feel for what they do. Um, but we'll go ahead and show this one now. Okay, I got you that time in Louisiana. You're fine so to turn it on, you're going to hit DSP, that'll start you at contour. Um, if you press it once, right now we're in the peak mode, so you'll notice this gives a little peak. And moving it will peak up a part of the passband. As you can see, they actually made it a little bit easier in that part. Now, if you press DSP again, it'll it'll change how much it's peaked. So this peaks it up even more. As you can see, the little uh, pyramid shape is larger. And if you move it, it kind of changes where. So that's pretty useful. Um, kind of selects a particular part of the passband, bumps it up, makes it more um, easier to pick out. If you hold the DSP select button, It'll switch it to the null part, um, where it kind of does the opposite, it nulls out a portion. So, um, so this is it off. This is the little null. And of course, you press it again, and you get the bigger null. So there you can see how it kind of cuts that part out. And if there's interference nearby, that can really help. So that's basically the contour feature. If you press the, the button again, it'll deactivate it. Um, if you press and to cycle through these settings, you just hit DSP again, and it goes on down to notch. So we'll go ahead to notch next. Okay, the notch feature um, is useful to, you know, cut out, if there's a little header dining, you can cut that little part of the, uh, the uh, passband out. Um, to reject it basically so it's not you know annoying in there um, so I'm gonna go through and see if I can find a place where this is really applicable okay so um, I couldn't find a, an example of where to do this so there's not a lot of people in the band that are close together but we can kind of see uh, how it affects the sound so come up here So you can kind of hear how it notches out um, part of the signal, um, and again, you got to play with it, and I don't have a really great example of it, but um, it'll notch out part of the signal. You can you can knock out a little uh, header dining or some interference, and uh, could hopefully improve um, how things sound. All right, so now we'll go on to DNR. 
Okay, DNR is a pretty cool feature. It's called uh, Digital Noise Reduction. That's what it stands for. And what it does is it reduces the background noise on the signal. Um, and they say, of course, this is obviously much better for SSB, which, you know, uh, it makes sense, and that's what we'll be using it on. Um, there's 11 different settings, I guess. This is how they, they put different, they say different noise algorithm, noise reduction algorithms. Um, that's kind of what you can scroll through, um, and you can see how well it works. So we'll go ahead and turn it up and play with it. You know, the same thing, we scroll down to DNR. Um, press, press the knob again to, to, to activate it. So you can kind of hear, well, there's, you can you definitely hear the reduction in noise. So it's hard to hear the person. So by applying some of it, it kind of makes it easier to hear. It gets rid of some of the noise. Um, and of course, if you put too much, it'll kind of just block out, almost, not, you know, it makes this weird kind of suppresses everything and it's kind of useless so um, it's going to depend on your signal but there is a way to do too much Let's see if we can find another example so here we go here's a good signal um, we'll go ahead and start with it off and then go through it. So and it's spread out through the week. Everybody has a shift in the van. Okay, well it seems like it's not it's confusing if that's your day uh uh if you want to do it. There, that's probably a better example. The noise is uh without it a lot of noise, but well it's just out to uh the double R L uh it's a good, done a good job suppressing the noise, making it a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so that's DNR. Um, I, I like that one a lot, actually. Um, it's, it can help, just helps a little bit. The, no, the noise can be a little annoying and loud, and that kind of make it easier if it's quiet in the noise. So definitely, um, just like the others, one to play with, um, experiment with, see what you get. So now we're going on to width. So the width, um, the width actually adjusts how wide the IF pass band is. So, um, and you can use it to, to eliminate interference, but you can also do it if there's not any interference, making it wider will increase the fidelity of the signal you're hearing. Uh, right now it's on the standard setting that it's always on. Uh, you can hear how that sounds. And that's narrow. You can make it wider also. See this guy comes back up here. So, I mean, that can make it wider. It could increase it, but it depends on the conditions around it. Um, but that's another one to play with. So, as you can see, it definitely changes it. Um, and this is one you're going to play with a lot with the next one, which is shift. Um, so, again, the width changes the width of the passband, and shift uh, slightly shifts the passband um, within um, the... Uh, um, I think... Within, the, within, the, within 3 kilohertz, you know, it, it changes the passband slightly, and... Or, sorry, it actually can shift it um, plus or minus 1 kilohertz. Um, so it's just, it's just a bit that you can get out, you know, get rid of some of the interference. And by changing, uh, the shift and the width, you can really kind of find the signal and, you know, select it nice and tightly. Um, so again, you're gonna play with those together, but we'll go ahead and do the shift now. Um, the shift is simply, uh, adjusted using the shift knob. So... I mean, you can really hear... How it shifts. And it's like it's, it's shifting slightly off frequency. Um, so that, that's that. If you play with the uh, width at the same time, so 
So again, play with it. Um, but those two together are um, definitely something that you're probably going to use a lot. Um, probably, I think that'd be like probably the, one of the more common uses of the DSP because you can really tighten up around things. Um, but yeah, experiment with it. So those are the main features of the DSP. Um, I know I wasn't able to demonstrate all of them working really well in their in, in intended way just because of signals available on the band right now. But hopefully you got a little idea of what they do, when to use them. Um, honestly, up till recently, I didn't use them a whole lot. I just kind of made do with what I could. If I heard them nicely, I worked them. Otherwise, I'd skip them. Didn't really play with the uh, DSP. Um, and I'm still learning a lot about it. Um, this video is just meant to be a little overview for people. You know, uh, in, uh, you know, introduce them to it. I'm no expert in using it. I understand its basic function. Um, and I'm, I'm just getting, I'm getting more familiar with how to apply it um, usefully. Um, but uh, be sure to check out the manual. Uh, the manual is a really good explanation of each of the features. That's kind of what I did. Um, just to, you know, gain some general knowledge, read through it. Oh, okay, tried them out on signals as I went. Um, and you'll see they can be pretty powerful depending on the circumstances um, of what you're using them. But uh, it's definitely a feature not to just, you know, leave. I, I think it's one of the high points of this radio. A lot of radios now have the IF DSP. Um, so even if you're not using this radio, it's, it's applicable to learn about them. And um, hopefully they can help you out. So that's, uh, that's really about it. Let me know if you have any uh, questions, comments, suggestions. Like I said, I'm not an expert on this at all. So... I'm sure there'll be people who can comment and give uh, places where I might have screwed something up or, or, you know, better suggestions about using it. But I just wanted this to be an intro, um, get a little more comfortable, and uh, start experimenting. That's, that's really the key to this. If you just play around with it, you'll learn how to use them. You'll learn what works when. Um, and there's no, there's no harm in that. Uh, you can just sit here for a couple hours listening to things, playing with it. And uh, that's, I think, really the way to do it. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe. This is uh, one of the videos in the series I'm doing about the 450D. Um, kind of, I've done one that's basically like a general overview through different feature points, and this is probably one of the more major features. Um, but I've done, you know, other little operation tips and such. So check those out, and um, we'll see you later. 73.